There we go. Got him. That was pretty cool. He was coming straight at me and I just literally dropped the root lure straight down in front of the live scope. And he followed it pretty high. Not a good spot to be. <laughs> that was pretty wild. right on the surface. I'm trying to get him to turn each time he comes to the boat. But you run the risk of wrapping the lure over the side of their head and then when they kick they'll pop it out of their mouth. In the net. <laughs> oh, not bad. <sighs> there we go. Meter 12 to start off the night. How good's that? It's a solid one, this one. Just on the little jackal. So I'm going to get this one back in and try and get another one. Got him, but he's got me around a tree already. Back the drag off. So if he wants to run, he can. Oh, he's right around this tree. He's jumping over there, but he's around this tree. I'm gonna watch the boat. Oh man, he's way over there. Oh, not another tree. This is where the, don't know if I said it earlier, but I've changed the finer gauge hooks. This is probably when it becomes a problem. Sometimes they'll tangle themselves up in a tree. The tension on it stops them from swimming off. They normally just, oh no, you around another tree. A lot of the times they'll just come to the surface and just sit there. Sometimes they'll thrash around and when they do that, that would be a good time to have heavier gear. I'm worried that if he does that with, with these hooks, he will just bend them. I got him off one tree. Now it feels like he's on another right here. Which isn't good. Okay, what can I do with this? Right. Around that. That would be another tree we're around. really got me on this one. Oh no, he doesn't. Oh, 
Now he's got me in a bit of a spot here. I'm sort of, I'm stuck between this tree and this tree. I don't know if I'll be able to get around into this gap. And he's going around this tree. Let's go freeze for him. Not much else I can do. Built me beer. Now he's around this tree. Free spooling again. Spiders everywhere. Okay. Now maybe we can do something. He's going to go around another tree here, I bet. Oh, the motor's hitting the trees. Let's see what happens here. Yep, he's on this tree. Got me under a branch underwater here now. Oh, I've broken a guide off. Not good. Oh, he's right there. He's right there. Hopefully, he comes back up. Down here. He's right here. I'm looking at him on the live scope. He's just doing loops of this, so he's so tangled. Like he's coming up, maybe. And this is painful. There's nothing I can do. I just got to wait for him to come up. See if I can scoop him in the net when he does. So he's just circling this tree now, wrapping the line around it. Feel the branch down there. Alright, we're in the tree once, pretty sure. Oh, I think I just lost him. Oh no, hang on. We're off the tree. I want to get away from this tree. He'd gone all the way to the bank. Oh, I hope I don't lose him now. So the problem was he went through the tree, the top of it. And I thought he'd gone around it one way, but he'd actually gone through the tree and swam around it the opposite way, down like a big alley-oop. this oh thank god for that oh, he's not even that big like he might he might be a meter oh yeah actually he's, he's all right oh. what a stressful fight holy crap Here it is, meter number two for the night. Man, what a fight that was. 
I don't know who's more exhausted, me or the fish. So I'm gonna get this one back in the water. I'm gonna get it back in there right now. <laughs> Oh, actually, it's all right. Oh, hear that. Just chomp the lure. That was very cool. Just had to free spool him. It's always an adventure when I hook up to a fish. Don't like it, it keeps jumping. I've done a few now. Couldn't imagine what my lead is looking like. It's coming back up for another one. I think he's just about done. I think he's just about done. Oh no, I'm tangled on him. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'll get him in real quick. I thought he swam out of the net then. Oh, not bad. Oh. He might be a metery. He's pretty close. How good's that? Well, another one. Another Mondi Barra. How good's that? I thought it was actually a small one at first. It looked small on the sonar, but it was over a metre, so I'm happy with that. Me and me mate have a few more spots we want to hit up tonight, so I'm going to get this one back in the water and go and have a look at them, see how we go. So when chasing big barramundi, what a lot of people like to do and what a lot of people tell you to do is run like 80 pound, 100 pound litre. But I find you just lose a bit of action in your lure and you have to use heavier rods with bigger guides just so the leader can fit through it or you've got to use a really short leader. What I like to do is use 60 pound and I end up just tying a really big loop knot on it. So that loop knot can hang out the fish's mouth all that distance as you can see this one's very abraded all along it but it had two lines to abrade so it's evened out the abrasion it's just an easier way to use lighter line when chasing bigger fish oh, okay yep here we go oh. I, no lost oh no 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 no, no. Turn your head off, John, if you need to. You want it on? Like for you, so you can see. Ooh, Looks too. like a decent one. Yeah. It's just chucking a lure out the back of the boat on life scope.
Ooh. <laughs> he just spotted a good fish sitting out the back of the boat and done the perfect cast to it. Now he's onto a nice one. At least we're in a nice spot, not too many sticks around here. You're right. Oh, we're hooked up. You know, you just hold on to the fish, I'll get a little more. Yeah. That's a good fish. There we go. Give him a hand. That's a good fish, mate. Fills the net up. That's for sure. That is definitely a good one. What do you reckon? Yep. Mondi Barra at their finest. Alright, let's give you a better look at him. <laughs> Just spotted this one out of the back of the boat on the live scope. Literally casted back over our head. A couple twitches. Boom. Smashed it. Not bad. the tile. Already stuck on a tree. It's already got me under another log, under a deep log. Oh, I've just come off. That's good. That's good. Been having some bad luck with trees. So I'm trying to stay onto this fish as much as I can. I've already backed the drag off, so it's pretty loose drag. Got me around another tree. So I'm free spooling it now. This tree doesn't look too bad. It's just a little bit too deep for the rod tip. <laughs> now I'm pulling it doubled. Okay, um Hand mine. Yes. You're not joking, are you? I'm not joking. Okay. Um, okay, things are getting real. I don't know if I can even do anything with this. Because I'm down under another log over here. Just pop that in the rod holder and um, grab that camera. I think he's got me under another log. But I'm hoping I can just pull him back back under it, might get lucky. There's two possible good outcomes. One, obviously, I just pull him out of here. And two, he's maybe wrapped around the tree and then he comes, since he's tangled, he, he actually comes to the surface and sort of just floats there, which is what they do. But I can feel that, oh, there we go. That's sort of good because I was just starting to feel the snag. I think we're going to have to do a risky manoeuvre here. This is going to be do or die. 
I'm going to have to go around this tree, let this all this line out. I'm going to try and catch the line on the other side of the tree here with the lure pole. And I've got it. Oh no, just lost it. Got it again. This is, this is crazy. That line feeding out good. Got to be so gentle because I've got the the rod sitting in a rod holder with a barrel arm open. It's around a tree further back. So as I, I'm literally just pulling myself along this line because it's stuck between a second tree. not the biggest but that was the most intense fight I've ever had. Look at that it's almost empty to be fair half of it's gone back to the snag and we've followed the other half of it I've just been hand lining it it's cut through my glove at some spots <laughs> enough talking I gotta get this fish back in the water because it's probably more exhausted than me. How good's that? Nice metery crazy fight first fish for this lure and get that hook out of his mouth and get him back in the water. Oh, Ooh, he's ready to go already. He's biting me thumb. Let's get him going. Got him. He's running. Oh yeah, he's got me under this tree. That's no good. I just got it off. Got off one snag. So I've got him off one snag, but since that took so long, and he took so much line, there's probably around a few more. Oh, that's an easy one. Oh. Another tree. I think I know what's going on here. He's gone around this tree in a circle. So I've got to go around like this. I think that's it. Yep, that's it. He took me in there, went around that tree, and is now heading back out. I thought I'd seen him splashing towards the bank, but obviously it's something else. Take the drag off just slightly. Because you never know after you've been free spooling for so long what the, how the hook set still is. It's just on the surface here. It's not a bad one. When they come under the boat, keep that rod tip down. If you're holding it up, you're putting way too much pressure on them. And if they roll, or if they swim under the boat and try and jump while under the boat, you just pop them hooks straight out. Right here. Right here. There we go. Oh, that's so easy. Oh, that wasn't too bad. 
stuck with my spear net, it's a bit small for these fish, as you can see. But he's a decent one. Give you a better look at him. Well, I was pretty close to the shore by the end of that fight. So I thought I'd just come over here and get a couple of nice, nice in the water shots of him. Make sure he's all good and healthy before I let him go. Hopefully I get a nice shot of him swimming off for you.